Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about printing and plotting. Okay, so technically we are going to learn about how to take a print. Uh, if we have completed our drawing in AutoCAD, then how to get it to convert it either to a PDF or to a sheet of paper. Now, the first basic way of taking the print is taking the print of uh, the design which is there on your screen right away. So the basic command for taking a print, which is like universal for almost all the software, that is Control P. So for taking a print, we have to just press a simple shortcut that is Control P. Okay. Now as soon as I press Control P, here we have various options to choose from. Okay. So like we have multiple options to choose from. So first, first of all, we need to choose what printer or plotter I'll be using. For example, here. Printer means a device from where a paper can come out, like any any machines. And plotter is particularly uh, for a bigger size print. Okay, but we do also have certain options. Like if I want to convert this to a PDF, so I also have AutoCAD to PDF. Here we have some different quality uh, PDF, like a high quality one, small file or web and well uh, related application file. So here, if I choose, let's say AutoCAD PDF high quality. So first, we need to define what kind of uh, output we need. Okay, so that is defined in the printer and plotter selection. Then we need to define if we are going to take a physical printout, what will be the size of paper? Okay, so whether it will be on an A4 size sheet or whether it will be on an A3 size sheet or basically what size of paper you are going to take a print on. If you are not taking a printout and if you are just converting this to a soft copy, this doesn't really matter. But this will be great if you know technically you are going to take a print on A4 size paper. So it's always better to select a A4 size and make a digital copy, which is also of A4 size. Now till here, it was a very generic setting of printing, which we normally do in almost every software. In every software, we select the printer. In every software, we select the paper size. Now if I check the preview, okay, this is how my print is going to look like. But I don't want my print to look like this. Okay, I want my print to look a little different. Like I want to zoom to a certain area and take a print. So here in what to plot display selected, that means whatever is there on your screen and how exactly it is there on your screen, that is the way it is going to get printed. So if your screen is zoomed out or if your drawing is zoomed out, then you are going to get a similar view over here in the print. Okay. So what we can do is we have one more option here called extent in extent, everything will come towards the paper and everything will try to fit in a single paper. So that is called as extend. That means in everything what you have on your screen will come to a paper and it will try to fit. We also have one more option called window. Now this is much better option because in this case you can actually create a window and define what exactly you want to print. Okay. So that will be always a better option to take a printer. Now along with that we also have one more option here called center to plot. So as you can see the preview, the, the printout or the print which is going to come, it's going to come on the very left side. So I want it to be in the center of the paper. Okay. Okay. This is the preview mode. How I'm coming out of the preview mode, either by pressing uh, this cancel button, you can come out of the preview mode or by pressing escape, you can come out of the preview mode. So if I say center to plot, if I click on preview now, this is much better. Okay. Now we have already learned something called as line weight, line type and other information, right? So if I activate this option, that is plot object line weight, that means line weight is going to get printed. Now, just for a simple explanation, I'm going to create a simple rectangle here. Okay. Using REC. Then I'm going to create a copy of this rectangle. Let's say few copies. I'm going to select one of these and going to apply a line weight over here. Let's say of 0.9. Here I'll apply a line weight of let's say 0.8 and here I'll apply a line weight of let's say 2.1. So here I have applied different line weight. So if I say control P now, and basically I'll again do the same setting. For example, here I want AutoCAD to PDF. I want an A4 size paper. So everything remains the same. I want a window print where I only want to print this area. And here I need to center it to the plot. And if I see the preview, it might take a while to generate the preview. Okay. I guess I have created this under def point layer. Now, basically this can happen with you also. Like here, what I have just done is I, by mistake, I created everything under def point layer. So the worst part about def point layer is anytime you do any design in def point layer, it is not going to get printed. So what is the solution? You can simply select your drawing and just move the layer to zero or to any other layer, which is printable. Okay. So now if I say control P for print, now if I do the exact same setting again, now uh, the problem here is we have to do the setting every time, right? Whenever we go into print, we have to select all these options. Okay. And we have to define everything and again, come back to the preview. 
So what if, if I want to make the setting default, then here you can see page setup. So after completing the setting, you can add a page setup. So next time what will happen if I cancel this out, for example, and if I go back to print. So as you can again notice, everything is by default. I can just simply select my setup and everything will be same as it is. Even the window will be there already. Okay. Now I'll just go to the preview and check. So you can see over here, this is a normal one. This is with a line weight. This is again with a line weight, just with two different values. Now, if I deactivate this option, then what is going to come is like everyone is going to look the same. So basically this option will allow you to whether you want to print the line weight or not. So this is about basic of printing. Now let's see an advanced part about printing. For example, here, if I press control P again, here again, I'll select setup one. Now in this case, the window will be here. Now again, I'll see the preview. Now the problem is yellow color doesn't look great on white color sheet, right? Because it is not even readable properly. Okay. So not only here in the digital copy, but also in the printout, it will not be readable. So I want to change my yellow color to blue, but the problem is yellow color is very much readable in the black color background of AutoCAD. So what we can do here is we have something called as plot style table here. I can choose that any, any particular style. For example, I'm choosing for now a cat dot CTB that is color dependent plot style. We are not going to going more in detail about how to create one. Okay. So if you want, you can just select any default plot style. Yes. And if I see the preview now, you can see color change automatically. Now how the color change, first of all, now here, if I select the plot style, let's say a cat dot CTB, I have an option to configure or edit it. So here, if I click on edit, I can select the yellow color and I can say how exactly it should look like. So yellow color should get printed in red, for example. So if I save. And if I see the preview, so every yellow color will get printed as red. Okay. So that is how you can define how exactly the plot style is going to look like. So this was the basic of printout. Let's move towards more and more advanced part. Now, as we know in AutoCAD, we always have two areas. One is known as the model area and one is known as the layout. And we already have two layout, which are by default present here inside AutoCAD. Now, basically layout is for printing. Okay. So if you want to take a quick printout, this is what all the settings you have learned so far will be helpful. But if you want to go deep into printout and if you want to take a printout in which you can show different types of drawings in different areas, you have to go to layout. Now in the layout, you can see there are three different spaces. I'll just configure the layout in a different way. Just give me a moment so that you can easily understand what kind of uh, spaces I'm talking about. I'll explain you this part in a while. Okay. So there are three spaces. So if you see, there is a dotted line here, which is not that clearly visible, but yes, there is a dotted line here. Okay. So that is the printable area. So anything within the dotted line will get printed. Anything outside the dotted line will not get printed. This is the paper. Okay. And this is the view and the view is shown using something called as viewport. So this is a new geometry called as viewport. We know how to create lines. We know how to create circle. This is something which is very new called as viewport. This is not a simple rectangle. Okay. First thing first, whenever we go to layout, we check the paper size to change the paper size. We can right click on layout. We can go to page setup manager. Okay. Then here we can select which layout we want to modify. As of now, I want to modify layout one here. I can click on modify, choose the printer. Let's say AutoCAD to PDF. And here I'll also choose the paper size. Let's say I want ISO A4. So I'm choosing ISO A4. I can also decide whether it should be portrait or landscape. So I want to keep it landscape for now. Okay. And object line weight and other information can be also defined and I'll click. Okay. So now as you can see, we have a new paper here, which has this as our printable area dotted line. So anything within the dotted line will get printed. Anything outside the dotted line will not get printed. So this is my current viewport and this viewport is showing me the entire drawing. Now, if you want, you can also delete the viewport by simply selecting the viewport and pressing the delete button on the keyboard. Now, if I want to create my own viewport, I can create MV enter. I can press MV enter and create a new viewport. Okay. Even again, I'll type, uh, first of all, I'll write down the command over here for viewport. The command is MV enter for viewport. The command is MP enter. So again, if I type MV enter here, I can create one more viewport MV enter. I can create one more viewport. Creating viewport is as simple as creating a rectangle. Okay. Now, uh, in AutoCAD, 
in a single sheet of paper, you can only have maximum of 63 active viewport. If you create anything more than 63, they will be deactivated. For example, here, I'm creating a copy of this viewport itself. Let's try to exceed the number. So here I have created a viewport. I'm using copy command to create multiple copies of this viewport in the same line. You can also use array command to do that. And you can see as of now, all the viewports are active. Okay, now I'll select all the viewports and I'll create few more copies here. So again, all the viewports are still active. Okay. Again over here. Now we can see there are few viewports which are not active. So if I count, actually there are 63 viewports which are currently active. Okay. So I hope you are clear with this part. So if you count here, we have total of 10 viewports in each line. And we have total of 60 over here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 63. Okay. So this is how AutoCAD manages the design. Because on a single paper, AutoCAD doesn't allow you to have more than 63 active viewports. Now if I go to MV Enter, the viewport command, we have multiple options to choose from. Okay, so I'll just show it to you. <clears throat> we can choose between the options like we can either create two viewport at the same time. We can either create three viewport. We can also create four viewport. We can also use this particular option, which I use very regularly. That is fit option. That is to create a viewport of the maximum printable area. So if I click on fit option, we can see this dotted line right now. Okay, so this dotted line basically indicates the maximum printable area. If I click on fit option, you can see a viewport is created of the exact same size. Okay, so again, we have few options like if I want to create viewport, okay, let's say I want to create four of them. So I can click on four and here if I create a viewport now, I'll get four viewport at the same time. So if I go to MV enter, if I choose four and if I choose to fit, so this is how four perfectly sized fitting viewport is going to look like. Now, once we have created a viewport, what exactly we can do with the viewport? Okay. So as of now, whenever I'm zooming in and out and whenever I'm panning, the entire page is going to pan. But if I double click inside any viewport, now I can pan and zoom any particular viewport. So the best part is I can zoom to this area and I want, let's say only this part should be visible in this viewport. Okay. So that can be controlled. And one very, ba very basic, but very important command, which can be used is the zoom command. Now, normally what we do is for zooming in and out, we use the scroll wheel, but there is a command called zoom and that can be accessed with Z enter. If I press Z enter, I can go to zoom command and in that we have an option called object. So only the selected object will get zoomed. Okay. So I'll just show you. So if I press Z enter, so here we have an option called object, which can be accessed using O enter and then I can select the object and only that object will get zoomed into the viewport. Now, if I click inside this viewport, I can do the same thing. Z enter, O enter, and I can select, let's say this object, and that will get printed in this viewport. Similarly, in this viewport, Z enter, O enter, I want this to get printed. I can print this one in this viewport, okay? Similarly, over here, I want this three. So Z enter, O enter, I can select all the three, and I can press enter. Okay, so this is how we can control the viewport, what exactly should get printed. So it doesn't matter how you created your drawing here. Okay, you can just roughly create it like the way I did. Okay, in the entire course, but in the printout, you can decide how exactly each one should look like. Now the problem here is again on the white sheet of paper, it is not very readable. Okay, now we already know layers, right? J just let, let's go into layers for the last time. If I press LA enter, now we have two color choices. Okay, not only one, but we have two color choices. Means we can choose between this set of colors and this set of colors. This is the original color of the object and this is the color of the object for the viewport. So if I change this to blue, so all the yellow color object in the viewport will look as blue. So I just need to refresh the drawing. I'll just change this to blue. Okay, so this is how it's basically going to look like. Now the benefit of using that option is you don't have to change the original color of the object. You can simply change the printout color. So this is the color in which it's going to get the printout from. And this is the color in which the object is going to get created. 
okay our object is originally created now you might notice by changing this color it is changing it entirely obviously because it is the original color of the object but what about this one now if i just delete one of the viewport from here let's say i'll just delete all of them i'll create mv enter i'll choose four and i'll choose to fit now if i just simply try to zoom into a particular area let's say here i'll change the color okay any time you do this you need to make the viewport active so now you can see in this viewport only the color is blue okay so it is very important if you are choosing that option make the viewport active okay so if this viewport is active so how to activate the viewport you have to double click let's say here in this viewport the color should be red the yellow color particularly that layer color should be red so this is also very much possible so this is something a little more advanced part of printout okay now once the things are ready once the things are done i can press control roll b okay and try to continue uh, plotting a single sheet and here everything is already fine i'll just give this to none and i'll click okay and i can save it on the desktop so here my printing is done and now that file is particularly open and it is visible to me right based on how i created it okay so this is how you can create a printout very easily using autocad in the next session i'll be explaining you how to create a title block okay uh, like how to properly create a title block and how to set a template inside autocad and after that i'll be giving you the final assignment of autocad and once you complete that final assignment as well uh, then congratulations you have completed the entire autocad training and you are ready to face the industry and you can you are ready to create as you no know, different type of drawing you want to okay have a great day ahead